My house was literally on fire. It was so black. I couldn't get, I was having trouble getting out of my house. It was five years ago today, California's deadliest and most destructive fire scorched Butte County. The campfire has left a scar of destruction. They are still healing today. So the hard part is, it's like the town's never going to be the same. Survivors and new residents to the area now continue the large task of rebuilding. This after their community was almost wiped off the face of the earth. The story of the campfire is certainly something that many will never forget. So we're continuing to reflect on the five year anniversary of the campfire this morning. And throughout the day, we are going to remember one of the worst tragedies that the people in our state have faced. So the memory of that day seared into the lives of those who survived the fire and the brave men and women who risked their lives to stop it. The fire lasted more than two weeks, burning more than 150,000 acres, which is roughly the size of Chicago. The town of Paradise was nearly destroyed. A total of 85 lives were lost that day. 12 civilians and firefighters were injured while the fire burned. But before we look to the future of the area, we have to understand how this all began. It was the morning of November 8th, exactly five years ago today, at about 6.33, almost to the moment. A red flag warning was issued across Northern California, including the Feather River Canyon area in Butte County. High winds and dry conditions meant that when the fire first broke out, it was going to spread quickly. So our firepower money team's investigation found that a faulty PG&E transmission line was the source of the fire. And most of the 26,000 people who were living in the town of Paradise were soon displaced as flames began engulfing the Paradise as well as other nearby towns. Paradise, California, which is burning right now. We've got fire crews all throughout the area. You got flames all around you and some are even driving through flames. So you're taking a look at video now from our reporting five years ago. The devastation was unfolding right in front of our cameras. Locals told us of their daring escape as the fire closed in on them. But among this tragedy, there were moments of hope. Come on, puppies. Hey, pups. Ooh. Can't let them go. You all right? Yeah. All right, dog. Ooh. I had one morning where I just kind of broke down and cried, which was yesterday morning, but for the most part, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep a smile on my face. A lot of people start crying, and I'm like, thank you so much, you don't have to do this, and I'm like, no, I want to, I want to help you guys. So from animal rescues to the moment of relief after escaping the flames, those memories will always be remembered. So let's go to our Bridget Biorlo now. Bridget, how has Paradise changed over the last five years? Well, there's constant reminders, Bria, of the fire when you look around the charred town, once known for its thick trees and scenic views. The memories of all that was lost have driven a lot of people away. The population is less than half of what it was before the campfire. But Paradise has also seen new life and new hope in the last five years, with some even moving to the scene of destruction to help the town rebuild. Burn scars and empty lots serve as painful reminders of a life that used to be in a town that once resembled its name, Paradise. But that all changed on November 8th, 2018 in a firestorm no one saw coming. My house was literally on fire. It was so black, I couldn't get, I was having trouble getting out of my house. Harry Rubilio's house was one of the 11,000 homes destroyed by the campfire, the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California history. And she recalls it didn't take long for strong winds to hit a PG&E transmission tower and reduce 90% of the town's homes and businesses to rubble. It literally looked like a bomb went off and we were our, our place and most of the places close by us were actually on fire within about 15 minutes of the fire starting. Terry had just minutes to escape with her life, but for 85 others, it was too late. It was a time of fear and uncertainty for the rural mountain community. It's a uh... It's tough. Butte County Sheriff Corey Honey is one of the leaders who brought calm to the chaos. You know, remember that we're strong in Butte County, that we are resilient. Uh, we've been through so much together. Um, it's important that we always remember and not forget what we went through. But that said, 
Um, I think that it's important for us to look to the future and really focus on moving forward. And five years later, that's exactly what Paradise is doing. As thousands moved away from the area following the fire, Jen Goodlin returned to her childhood hometown with her husband and four kids to help it rebuild from the ashes. I just felt like I was home even in the midst of like all the destruction. And for a little under 10,000 people, Paradise, California is still home. A home that's not what it once was, but now has a fresh opportunity to transform into something new. The biggest thing we want people to know is that Paradise still exists. Because when you Google it, that's the first question. Does Paradise, California still exist? And we are here alive and well. A lot of changes have been made to prevent another disaster in paradise. By year 2025, all the town's power lines will be built underground. Homes are also now being constructed to be more fire resistant. And there are now 21 sirens around town to warn people about the next emergency. Walt, Bria. All right, Bridget, thank you for uh, the good news on how they're rebuilding.